Welcome to using WordPress, creating affordable websites that search engines will love. Now for the reason most people use WordPress. You can change your entire site design with a few clicks. That's right, the most daunting task a web designer faces is handled in a few clicks. Now, I'm assuming you're logged into your account at WordPress.com and you have clicked on one of the blog names under the My Dashboard area. If not, just type in your user ID and your password and click on Login and then go to the My Dashboard section and click on one of the blogs. And to change the appearance of your overall web design, just click on Appearance in your left toolbar and here you are. The default theme is called Kubrick. You will see a preview of the theme at the top of your screen along with a list of options. Now, widgets are tools that help readers use your blog or website. Click on the uh, link labeled widgets as I just have done. You add widgets to your right toolbar most of the time. You add them simply by dragging and dropping them like this. Or if you choose not to, drag and drop them there. And you can as well uh, move things out of your uh, sidebar as well as change the positioning of them just simply by dragging and dropping them and they'll automatically update for you and there are a number of them here I'm going to briefly go through uh, all the different widgets that are available for you these right here that I am using currently are the most common widgets that most everybody uses now let's explain some of the ones you may never have heard of or might not be able to figure out on your own Box.net file sharing. If you have an account at Box.net, you can get one gigabyte, uh, one gigabyte of space for free, and you can create a folder containing files that anyone you choose can access. Category Cloud displays your categories in a list and increases the font weight or size to emphasize which categories are the most important. Delicious is an online service where you can manage and share your bookmarks with other people. With this plugin, you can add a bookmark to this page on Delicious link to your posts or sidebar, and this will allow your visitors to add your page directly to their Delicious profile and makes your blog more popular. Flickr, this plugin allows users of WordPress to display their Flickr photos on their own site. Flickr is a free photo sharing website. Gravatars. A gravatar, as previously mentioned, is an image that represents you not only on WordPress, but can be used on most any social networking site. And you can sign up for a free account at en.gravatar.com. Mebo uh, lets you chat with your site visitors using your free Mebo account. And you can sign up for that at mebo.com. Palatial Map Kit allows you to embed a map lookup tool on your site. But uh, some people have found this to be a little bit buggy depending upon which uh, template you use. RSS stands for really simple syndication. The RSS widget will let you display entries from any RSS feed. And if you want to share the posts made on other sites, this is the tool for you. To find a large list of feeds, go to businesswire.com portal forward slash site forward slash home forward slash RSS. If you find a feed you like, click on the orange square with three white lines in it and this will take you to the feed. Copy the link that is in the top of your browser, then click on the downward pointing arrow to the right of the tool labeled RSS that you just dragged into your sidebar, paste the link into the top text box where it states enter the RSS feed URL here, sign a title if you like, as well as uh, how many posts and what data associated with each post you like to be displayed, and then click Save, and you are set. RSS links are links you provide to others uh, to reach your RSS feeds. Social Vibe places an ad in the sidebar of your blog where readers can engage and help you earn money for charities. The VodPod Videos widget lets you display image links to your favorite videos from around the web in your sidebar. To use this tool, you must sign up for a VOD, of a, a VOD pod account, then paste links to videos within the, the uh, VODPod 
drop down in your right sidebar. Now if we go back, and that covers just about everything that's not self-explanatory in the widgets area. Now we're going to go into the extras area. And these are general extras that you can enable for your entire blog. There may be an extra that will put a snow animation on the list, which is seasonal. It's here right now, but it's going to be gone soon. Um, the extra labeled enable M shots. The site previews on this blog is a bit complicated. Media shots or M shots enable anyone visiting your site to get a glimpse of the sites you're linking to without having to leave your site. And by rolling over a link, a visual preview will pop up showing the link site without requiring any clicks or a visit to the link site. This is a nice extra, hence it is checked by default. Uh, the display a mobile theme extra should also be checked. It will automatically create a mobile version of your site for smartphone owners. Another reason WordPress is absolutely amazing. Finally, leave the last box unchecked by leaving the hide related links extra unchecked. You will increase your overall traffic. And when's that a bad thing? Now we're going to go back here. Just click your back button. Or, I could have clicked there. And we're going to go to the custom header, uh, header area. By clicking on the custom header link, you can choose to hide your title, change the text, color, change back to the default color, or upload your own custom header. As it states, if you choose to upload a custom header image, make sure the dimensions are 740 by 192 pixels. If you click the header colors link, which is right here, you will be able to select your text colors, and or you can click, uh, click back and use your originals, or any number of other things. Um, and that's basically all there is to know in regards to how to uh, use the custom header under your appearance tag. And oh, by the way, here's the header tag colors if you want to change your font color. Your upper color, what that's referring to is this area, or your lower color, or revert back to the original. And advanced actually allows you to select, I want to close that first. If you want to enter in hex codes for the colors of the different text and so forth and so on, you can. What I always tell people is if you don't know what a hex color is, don't worry about it. If you do, use it. And that's about it. And the edit CSS area, I don't I didn't pay the additional money to be able to to do this. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to or not. If you want to, you can pay $14.97 per year. To change your CSS, and that's of December 2009, and uh, you can do that here if you know understand cascade, the cascading style sheets. It will allow you to change text and all overall formatting on your website. And you're probably saying, "Well, just change the appearance already." <laughs> this is how simple it is. You just basically click on Preview to see if you like the way the template changed, design change, what have you looks like if you decide that you do click on activate and it is done for you if you decide that you do not click on this X and go back to your template picking area and there are 77 current themes available to you and you can select through them either alphabetically or if you want to see what the most popular themes are there you go and they all work precisely the same way. Click on activate or preview. And it is that simple. It's literally two clicks and you have a brand new website. That's basically all there is in regards to appearance. It's amazing that the hardest thing to do in web design is done in two clicks in WordPress. But that's basically everything. Your comments are welcome. You have yourself a great day.